สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Puka Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, July 15th, and I'm your host JP Mistanza. We got a lot to get to, so let's get started. Police are investigating the death of an 18-year-old student who was killed by electrocution from touching a floodlight pole at a public basketball court at Suan Luang on Saturday evening. When an emergency medical team from Vashira Phuket Hospital arrived at the park at about 6 p.m. on Saturday, they found 18-year-old Prince of Songkla University Phuket student Khaled Noor on the ground, lifeless, and he was declared dead at the scene. Another young man, who authorities have not named, he was also electrocuted in the incident, but he survived and is currently at Sri Roj International Hospital receiving treatment over there. Police are now investigating what exactly happened, but They have told the local electricity authority to check every light pole in the area and forensic police are inspecting the scene today. Meanwhile, a funeral was held yesterday at a mosque in Phuket town attended by Phuket city mayor Somjai Suwan Supana and other leading Phuket town officials. For more on this story, visit the phuketnews.com. Saying it's all to allow for construction to begin on the long-awaited U-turns on Teka Satri Road south of the Heroines Monument, Phuket Governor Pakampong Tamipat is appealing to 10 landowners in the area to accept a government offer to buy their land. The appeal was made last Thursday at a meeting at Phuket Provincial Hall where the U-turn project was a top subject of discussion, a project that at first was supposed to be a flyover on Tepkasatri Road, all meant to alleviate traffic congestion, but local residents earlier this year voted not to have the flyover built in Gokkeo, opting instead for expanded ground level U-turns at the site. This new ground level U-turn is going to need much needed space, widening the roads to 35 meters on each side, which would require 10.7 rai of roadside land to be acquired by the government for the project to proceed. The governor says the U-turn project would make it much safer and more efficient for traffic to flow on the island's main artery, the Pkasatri Road. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Happy Crystal Ice and Water Making Plant, the one that caused an ammonia leak in the early hours of Friday morning on July 5th, just over a week ago, which forced locals to evacuate, it's now been ordered to shut down the area in the factory that caused the leak until repairs are made. The 2 a.m. gas leak on Friday, July 5th, it saw local residents evacuate their homes for about an hour in the area around Rawai Temple and a similar leak took place back on October 2017, which caused another evacuation, that time for almost 10 hours. Exposure to high concentrations of ammonia in air causes immediate burning of the nose, throat, and respiratory tract, and can result in respiratory distress or failure for some people. Last week, the local office of the Ministry of Industry here in Phuket ordered the factory to shut down the affected parts of the facility until necessary repairs were made to ensure that another leak will not happen again, and the order incurs a fine of 5,000 baht per day until the business complies with the order. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra brand back after this. Visit us in Patong or InkInAsia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Police are investigating a human skeleton found in the jungles near a housing estate in Sri Sutorn, central Phuket, just yesterday. A local fruit vendor ventured into the area just 150 meters from a housing estate in Sri Sutorn and found the pile of bones, reporting it immediately to police around 2.30 p.m. And when authorities arrived, they say that, as far as they can tell, none of the bones were broken. Police say they also found the remains of underwear, blue jeans, rubber shoes, and a stainless steel necklace, along with nylon rope over one meter long tied to a branch above the ground. Police suspect that the remains are of a migrant worker, as there was a workers camp just 100 meters uh, in that area that moved out a year ago. Police say the investigation is ongoing. 
stricter licensing procedures is just one of the many ways highway police say will increase road safety when it comes to motorcycles or big bikes in Thailand as they look to redefine the law to separate the legal classification from being in the same group as ordinary motorbikes. Although officials from the Highway Police Division admit that certain things like changing classifications and issuing driver's licenses falls under the Department of Land Transport, they nevertheless are looking to bring up the issue of making big bike riding safer with the Department of Land Transport, the DLT, hoping to set them in a class apart from ordinary motorbikes. Currently, the minimum age requirement for motorcycle licenses is 15 years old, but authorities want to raise that limit to 18 years old when it comes to big bikes. They also want to specify that motorcycles with an engine of 400 cc's or bigger, which produce at least 47 horsepower, are treated by law as big bikes. And anyone looking to apply for those licenses would also need to attend special training sessions as well as the DLT driving tests. It's all in the name of road safety as authorities say there are many reasons saying that not only are they fast and more prone to road crashes, but it's also more difficult to issue fines to big bike riders since motorcycles carry the number plates on the back of the vehicle, whereas police remote speed sensors only capture photos of vehicles from the front. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. Praise is being heaped on a pilot for his courage after he was believed to have given up his life to protect others during a plane crash in Chiang Mai last week. Squadron leader Narupol Lut Kusul, who was posthumously promoted to air marshal, he died with an Aero L-39 jet, which crashed in the Sarapi district of Chiang Mai last Thursday afternoon, with an Air Force spokesman saying the, plan, the plane broke down and forced both pilots to make emergency ejections, but only one of the men ejected, the trainee, Wing Commander Tanawat, he was sitting in the front while the trainer, Air Marshal Narupol, sitting in the rear seat, stayed with the plane in order to make sure it did not hit any residential or commercial areas. He's believed to have ordered his students sitting in front to leave the aircraft first at an altitude of 518 meters, just over 200 meters above the high terrains of Chiang Mai province, according to the Air Force commander. Wing Commander Tanawat was slightly injured in the incident, but Air Marshal Narupol died in the crash. Funeral rites have taken place over the weekend. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Thank mm -hmm. you.